That's it. That's correct. Thank you so much, Zoe. It's time to almost indulge in our medical topic of discussion this morning. We're talking all about antibiotics. But before we get there, over the weekend, Dr. Darren Green was involved in a serious head-on collision. Uh, he miraculously walked away unscathed, and we are very, very lucky to have him sitting here with us this morning. Dr. Darren, yes. I saw the Facebook post that you did. This is crazy, man. What exactly happened? No, it was quite... Uh, it happened in a few seconds. I was just driving to go and pick up my... Uh, my uh, children's nanny to, to have a romantic dinner with my wife that evening. And on the way, uh, an old lady that didn't have good vision turned in front of me at a big intersection. And uh, shame, she had no, no recollection of even visualizing really? me or seeing me. And we had a head-on collision. And I then wow. bounced off that car to flatten one of the traffic lights and a lamp pole. So we ended up with the traffic light basically still flashing under my car. But luckily, the Airbags deployed, and uh, I was wearing a seatbelt, which is uh, yeah. saving grace. Seriously. And I had no passengers in the vehicle, especially my children in the back seat. Yes, so exactly. Very grateful for that. But the fact that you walked away unscathed, it is a miracle, my friend. It is uh, a miracle. Extremely grateful. Very, very grateful for you as well. Yeah, man. Thank you so much. Listen, but let's get into our, our sure. topic of discussion this morning, antibiotics. So last, one, yeah. last week, we broke down vaccines, and uh, we got yes. a lot of calls and questions around um, antibiotics. So that is what we're talking about today. For uh, Great uh, topic. Talking about, yeah, antibiotics. Uh, give us a shout if you want to have uh, your say, or if you have any questions for our doctor, that number 0839133722. Two, eight. Right, so we refer to them as antibiotics, but what exactly is a biotic? Yeah, so the biotic refers to the living organism part, you know, the biological organism. Okay. And, uh, you know, a lot of people don't know that you get different types of germs. You get yes. fungus, which is like athlete's foot. You get bacteria and you get viruses. Everyone knows HIV, for example, yes. like flu, influenza, virus. And then, you, you know, you get other organisms and the bacteria specifically when we use antibiotics, refers to the component of giving medication that helps in combating a bacterial infection. Okay, so that is what the antibiotics are for. Yeah, that's so, what they're for. So, so it, antibiotics won't really do anything if you have something like a viral infection. Correct, so a common they? cold, a common flu. Yeah. Uh, taking antibiotics for that is actually uh, a waste of money, but oh, really? not more than that. There's an ethical dilemma to the rest of humanity where you're actually creating or help create what's called super bugs yes. uh, and facilitating really? resistance. So uh, because of the inappropriate use and incorrect scheduling of antibiotics, we then facilitate a process of bacteria out there developing yeah. resistance. Okay, so, so at what stage, just for people are being aware, because I know it's very easy to run to the doctor, it's very easy for doctors in South Africa especially, to give out antibiotics for whatever ailment they, might ha they may have. But at what stage should uh, a patient start asking questions? It's like, is it really necessary? Do I need to? Because we don't mm. want these, these bacterial things to involve or, to, or the virus Correct. to get stronger. It goes both ways. Sometimes the doctor feels pressured and even manipulated by certain moms that want antibiotics or dads. Especially when it comes to the kids. Yes, because of our pressured lifestyles. Yeah. We don't want to go back for clinic review, which is the number one uh, responsibility we as practitioners have of re-examining someone if they're not getting better. Not giving the prophylactic, so to say, antibiotic no. out, saying to the mom, if your child's fever doesn't break within 24 hours, no. then start it. But we feel pressured, uh, you know, from no. a doctor's side. From a parent's side, you also feel, but my child is suffering. I need to give them something. I need to know that I've done everything I can. Yeah. But, you know, when you should is when your child's fever, for example, becomes more frequent uh, when their clinical picture in terms of oral intake, when they, they're not eating properly, not drinking properly, and that affects their holistic health system, becomes affected. And, and then, of course, if you see the new clinical manifestations or signs that you need to be aware of. Yeah. All right. So, so, so how exactly, once you have your antibiotics, how exactly do they go to work within your body? Sure. So two main groups, uh, what we call bacteriostatic. Okay. And that just numbs them. It makes them uh, static. It makes them uh, stop multiplying and, you know, at, at growing at rapid rates to take over the body. But then bactericidal is the other group of antibiotics, which are involved with actually directly killing the organism, the bacteria itself. Right. And often you'll find in certain conditions, we actually use a combination of two antibiotics, a bacteriostatic, yeah. which numbs it, yeah. and a bactericidal, which then actually goes in and kills it. They work on wow. different places uh, around uh, on the structure of the, of the body, or so to say, of the, the bacteria. Some of yeah. them are involved with the capsule or the spore, et cetera, et cetera, and certain enzyme reactions that, that are important in the gut of that bacteria. So the different classes of antibiotics work at different, uh, you know, 
target yeah. sites on the actual yeah, bacteria. I can understand why there were so many questions around antibiotics. Correct. But we are going to be continuing our topic. Remember that, uh, that number, 083-913-3728. If you have any comments or questions for Dr. Darren Green, please give us a shout. 083-913-3728. But here's the rest of the crew to tell us what is still ahead on your Feel Good Breakfast Show.